Hello, Stan the Annuity Man, America's annuity agent, licensed in all 50 states. So glad you joined me for the continuing series of how to buy an annuity. And no, this isn't some veiled sales pitch, bad chicken dinner seminar nonsense. Um, we're doing a series of videos on how to buy an annuity because we get all these questions um, and your questions actually end up turning into videos a lot of times. So today's topic on how to buy an annuity is what age is too old or too young to buy an annuity? Which is a fantastic question. And I think that, you know, I hope a lot of advisors and agents are watching this as well because they need to know. Because we see a lot of annuities placed inappropriately, either with someone too young or someone too old. But I'm going to give you my opinion on what that means. What is too young and what is too old after this. <music> Okay, so what age is too old or too young, et cetera? Let's start out on the too young side. You know, I get a lot of calls from, from people in their 20s and 30s and 40s about annuities. And ironically, most of the calls, um, and I guess tragically is a better word, most of the calls, someone's trying to sell that 20-year-old or 30-year-old or 40-year-old an annuity of any type. And I'm like, first thing I say is, you know, they'll call me or schedule a call and I'll say, you know, how old are you? And they'll say, well, I'm 35 or I'm 37 or I'm 40 or whatever. Here's the bottom line. If you're, if you're less than 50 years old, you really shouldn't be looking at annuities of any type. And let me give you the reasons why. If you're looking at a lifetime income annuity, like a deferred income annuity or a, um, a single premium immediate annuity or a qualified longevity annuity contract or an income rider, for that matter, attached to an index annuity, um, Remember that, uh, that lifetime income, you know, that lifetime income stream is primarily based on your life expectancy at the time you take the payment. So if you're really, really young and you're looking for income to start, you know, pretty soon, I mean, that income amount that's going to be guaranteed is going to be low because your life expectancy is so, so long, okay? So you have to look at that. Interest rates play a secondary role in the pricing. It's life expectancy that drives the income pricing train. So from a lifetime income stream standpoint, um, if you're less than 50 years old, you, you probably, you just, I'd rather you keep your money in growth components, growth market type uh, strategies, and that does not include any annuities. <laughs> annuities for, for stock market growth should never be purchased for that. I know there's a lot of variable annuity salesmen out there that's yelling at the screen, but there's limitations on the choices within a variable annuity, and most of those variable annuities have high fees. If you're less than 50 years old, you have you have time for markets to be volatile, and then you may, you can make up for any type of losses or volatility, et cetera. Um, so if you're less than 50 years old, you should really never buy annuity of any type. Here's another reason. Our friends at the IRS say that if you take out money from an annuity, like a multi-year guarantee annuity or a fixed index annuity, if you take money out before you're 59 and a half, there's a 10% penalty. So... Once again, if you're, if you're that young, you, you should not be buying an annuity of any type. Now, there are specific situations and asterisks that, that we deal with where there's a special needs situation that we need to create a lifetime income stream for, or there's a specific uh, child or grandchild or someone. That, but those are one-offs, okay? Those are things that people are going to call me anyway, and they're going to schedule a call with me anyway, and we're going to work through those specific situations that are anomalies, okay, that, that just happened that we need to, and in those cases, maybe an annuity works. But for everybody else, 50 or less, I want you to promise me not to buy an annuity of any type because of some, some sales pitch or, or you're trying to be master of the universe. Be master of the universe with non-annuity products if you're less than 50 years old. If you're at 50, we can start having that conversation, and we still might think you're a little young with that because even at age 50, you have 30-plus years of life expectancy that's projected, which is a long, long time. So that's for the people that I feel are too young. 50 or less, unless you're one of those exceptions. And if you're one of those exceptions, or if you're a parent out there with some wandering ambiguity of a child, <laughs> then you call me and we might can put together something for them. But everyone else, 50 or less, it's a no-go. Now, let's talk about too old. Annuities can be issued, some types, not all types, as, as far out as age 90. 
That doesn't mean a 90-year-old should be buying them, okay? Some, some product types, they have cutoffs at age 85. That doesn't mean you need to be buying them. But what I would like for you to do is if you're 80 or above, then we need to talk. I need to know why you are considering an annuity. What are you trying to contractually solve for? What are you trying, what's the goal of the asset? Don't just go to the bad chicken dinner seminar because they're giving away food. I always tell you, if you're going to do that, swallow the food, not the sales pitch. My mom, who's in St. Augustine, Florida, is a professional plate licker. She goes to all these things, and she doesn't buy anything because at the end they'll call, they'll call her up for the appointment or they'll ask her for the appointment at the bad chicken dinner seminar, and she'll say, Stan the annuity man is my son. Here, Stan, you know, Stan and Stan the annuity man. And they're like, oh, oh my God. You're his mother. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but the bottom line is, if you want to go eat their food, that's fine. But if you're 80 or above, I, I need to talk to you. I need, not because I don't think you're sharp as a tech, because you are, you probably more sharp than I am. I need to understand the suitability. I need to understand the appropriateness. I, under, I need to understand what you're trying to achieve. Now, it could be legacy. It could be long-term care, confinement care. It could be principal protection. Or you might need a lifetime income stream uh, additional lifetime income stream to fill in that income floor gap that you might have. But what I want to prevent for anyone 80 and above, okay, is, is you not buying the sales pitch dream. You not just being sold something. Someone not convinced. So I'm trying to pre prevent someone from convincing you that the too good to be tr pr true product exists because it doesn't. If it sounds too good to be true with annuities, it is every single time without exception. So if you're 80 and above, I need to talk with you. That, and it might, we might decide that, hey, this specific annuity type fits, or you don't need annuities at all. Don't listen to the sales pitches that you're getting out there. So we talked about 50 or less. We talked about 80 or, or older. Let's talk about 50 to 80, the people inside, that it is appropriate for them. Okay, That doesn't mean you need to buy one. Again, you need to make sure that you have specific goals contractually that you want that, that money that you're thinking about an annuity type to do, and we need to talk. Okay, so we've talked about it in this series, the how to buy annuities, you know, what's too old or what's too young. Just remember 50 and 80. 50 and below, you're too young. 80 and above, we need to talk. And with that, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next Stand the Annuity Man YouTube video.